What's up guys and girls, C Lopez back once again with another tutorialism. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at my Max for Live plugin that I've been developing over the last month or so. And it's a CC controller. Uh, the reason I started developing it was because of this UVI plugin that quite a lot of us on Facebook got a couple of months back. This Now this is a kind of sampler, rompler type affair, some really really good sounds on it. Only problem is, in Ableton, you can't automate the parameters the same way you do with more or less every other software for some reason. So usually you click on configure, click on a parameter, and it appears in here and you can start automating it. Can't do it with this for some reason. Um, but because I really like the sounds of this synth, I decided to make a Max for Live controller that would help bridge the gap between the plugin and Ableton. Um, so yeah, that's the reason I started developing it. And I've this is the first ever Max for Live thing I've ever made and as I started getting into it I just wanted to add more and more features and it's kind of morphed from a controller for the UVI workstation into a universal controller that should work on any hardware with a MIDI output um, but we'll get into that in a minute right so first off to show you how this thing works so as you can see we've got uh, five tabs first one dials so pretty self-explanatory we've got eight dials in here sliders eight sliders envelope envelope two envelopes and the last tab i've got controls for stuff like pitch bend mod wheel foot pedal sustain all that kind of stuff um, so this box here just shows you what um, MIDI note is incoming. Uh, we get into this box, the, the one above it in a minute. So how to use this to control the DVI? Move this across so you can see. So to automate a parameter in here, you need to assign it a MIDI CC number. So the way you do that is you right click on a dial and you get this box. Click on the drop down menu, I'm just going to pick any number at random, so I'm going to pick 22 and then on my plugin here, just choose this first dial and you can either slide up and down using your mouse or you can type it in, 22, 22, 20 sorry. And then you see this dial is automating this knob. Uh, and let's record something in. As you can see, it's recorded in the automation. If you want to see where this is and you click, um, yeah, it's right there. If you don't have this highlighted, you can just right click on the dial and go to show automation and it'll automatically come up for you there. So each one of these dials works exactly the same. So what was I automating there? Uh, drive amount. So above each dial I've got a thing where you can label what each dial is. So just type that in, drive amount. Uh, and along the right hand side of each box here we've got three buttons. So the top one, red button, just automatically puts your 
dial straight down to zero. The orange button puts it dead on at 64, and the green button puts it all the way to max. So just a bit of a workflow thing here. Uh, the other thing you can do with these buttons is let's open up the EVI again and let's right click on this button and put that to 21. Put this to 21, call this drive on off. What you can do, so you've got this, so you can use the red button, turn it off, green button, turn it on, and obviously you can record that in as automation. Um, so let's see, let's initialize this and load up a different patch. And let's go to the DS77 and let's pick pad. So just going to delete that automation. Switch to slider view because as you can see here, everything's sliders. And again, this just works exactly the same way. Actually, let me show you something else. So on each of the um, tabs here, got an initialize button. Uh, now if you click on initialize inside the sliders patch, it won't affect anything in any of the other tabs. So I'm gonna click initialize. And as you can see, it's just automatically put a load of MIDI CC numbers in here for me. So I don't have to go in and type each one individually, which is again, yeah, just another workflow thing. So let's just assign this to 12. As you can see, it's come up. And there we go. So again, this works exactly the same. Lost my mouth for a minute there. Let's call that. Bit. And what we can do is actually let's let's change do another one. Let's go let's do cut off at CC thirteen, so it'll be on the second dial here and we can obviously now we can incorporate some other Max Alive devices um, so I've got LFO tool here let's map this to this slider <laughs> let's see ya uh, and we've got all kinds of extra controls now for the EVI. This is pretty cool. Let's get rid of that for now. Um, yeah, envelope from does work in exactly the same way. Let's just go initialize. So we've got 85, 86, 87, 88. Um, I've got these labels ADSR, so this is obviously attack. Decay, sustain, and release. So let's go right click, uh, five, right click, eighty six, right click, eighty seven. 88 and let's do this one to 84. We'll call this amount. Okay. 
as you can see, got this cool little animation here, which is just showing you the um, amplitude envelope in real time. Kind of cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is show you how you can use this CC controller to control your MIDI hardware. So as you can see on the camera, I have the virus access set up right now. And I just have a MIDI clip, a simple MIDI clip that's just playing one note here. Okay, and just for the purposes of the video, I'm going to automate the filter cutoff. So there's two ways you can go about doing this. You can just uh, rotate the dial, and as you can see in this box here, it's come up 40, which means this dial is outputting at MIDI CC40. So what you can do is just type in 40 above the dial that you want to control this knob. Um, and there's also another kind of simpler way to do it. And you've noticed that on all of these dials, I've got these grayed out L buttons here and got them on the sliders and on the envelopes. And what these L's are, are a learn function. So what you want to do, is click on the L, start flashing and then choose the uh, parameter that you want to automate on your sim and boom, automatically mapped to the CC number and the uh, MIDI amount is also automatically put in there as well. Okay, so now we have... Yeah, basically that's it. That's my plugin. That's how it works with the UVI workstation. And like I say, it's about... 90% complete. The way the reason I say it's not 100% complete is the uh, plugins integration with a hardware, well, a MIDI controller to be exact. So I've got my MPD32, and if I click on the Dials tab, I hope you can see this. So I've got my eight dials and. If you look at these dials here, you'll see automatically assigned. But the problem is, when I go to the sliders page, nothing. And the same with the others, nothing. So there's only, a, the dial is only automatically assigned to the first eight uh, dials here. And that's it's just to do with the way that uh, Max for Live deals with uh, messages from MIDI controllers. So I'm sure there will be a way to have all of these dials, sliders, automatically mapped to your dials on your MIDI controller, but I can't work it out just yet. Uh, if anybody knows how to do it, please get in touch and I'll update it straight away. And yeah, so I mean, yeah, basically that's the only thing that is that I'm not 100% happy with. So that's it for now. That's the C Lopez CC controller. I'll make it available for download if you just follow the link below. Uh, like I say, there is still a few little issues. Uh, so what I was going to say before, actually. <laughs> So obviously we've got this issue with the MIDI controller, hardware MIDI controller, only moving the first eight dials. The other thing is, if you're using push, for example, and you give this a label, this text won't then show in the display on the push. I don't know how to rectify that. If somebody does, please get in touch. If someone knows how to rectify the issue with the tabs, please get in touch. But if not, 
use it. Use it with the UVR, use it with your hardware sense, let us know how you get along. That's it for now. Peace.